This is John Giever for MedPage Today in Chicago for the Kidney Cancer Association's International Symposium. A presentation here by Dr. Sung Ho Lee of Montefiore Medical Center in the Bronx, New York, focused attention on an important side effect of interleukin-2 therapy. So this study is about the symptom management in patients treated with interleukin-2 for the metastatic renal cell cancer or metastatic melanoma. And uh, people, when they're treated with high-dose interleukin-2, most of the times, not most of the times, but more often than not, they develop intense severe pruritus. And we've also observed during the treatment that the blood and the blood work, their eosinophilia counts goes up very high. So we've designed the study to see if this eosinophilia is related to the pruritus. And the other second part of the study is to see if uh, the medication, the novel medication that we're treating with these patients with, which is gabapentin, helps their pruritus. The reason how gabapentin works in this patient is that clinically we've observed that the pruritus that these patients get when they're treated with IL-2 is very similar to atopic dermatitis. It's uh, drying up of the skin barrier and because of the break of the skin barrier, they dry up and they get itchy. And the nerve fibers that's uh, residing on the epidermis is uh, C fiber, small C fibers and A delta fibers. And gabapentin is supposed to block the nerve endings and decrease the conduction of the pruritus sensations coming from the skin. And uh, the new kid on the block in atopic dermatitis, interleukin-30, interleukin-31 is secreted in response to TH2 cytokine. And we've had hypo hypothesized a link from interleukin-2 to interleukin-31 with a TH2 cytokine in between uh, because uh, interleukin-2 is known to secrete interleukin-4 and interleukin-10 along the cytokine cascade and that's known to shift the cytokines to TH2 cytokines. And also interleukin-2 secrets interleukin-5, which uh, stimulates the eosinophilia, and this eosinophilia itself can shift the cytokines to TH2 cytokines. And through these two mechanisms, we, we hypothesized that the interleukin-31 may have been secreted, and that leads to the pruritus. Uh, we just uh, brought up this poster because we wanted uh, everyone to know that gabapentin is very efficacious and it works with the pruritus in patients treated with IL-2. And gabapentin acts downstream from all of those uh, uh, cytokine cascades, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's just the end, end product of the cytokine and all these pruritus coming. And it's just a nerve conduction at the end that causes us to itch. But this gabapentin blocks the nerve conduction, so it's bound to work. And is there any advantage in trying to interrupt the, uh, the cytokine cascade further upstream? Well, it's quite difficult because it's a very complex cytokine cascade and honestly, we don't know for sure which cytokine is responsible for what in regards to pruritus. And this is the first hypothesis that came up, so we'll see if it's really true. I'm John Giever, MedPage Today.